Good Monday morning to you. I'm Pastor Roddy Chester with Open Door Family Fellowship, and this is Necessary Food for this morning. I'm reading from the book of Romans, chapter 8 this morning, verse 35. The apostle writes, inspired by the Holy Spirit, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? Can any of those things separate the follower of Jesus from Jesus? Will Jesus forsake you in the midst of any of those kinds of situations? He quotes from the psalmist as he says, As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. You know, a lot of people might read that and they might think, well, that is to be separated from the love of Christ. If, if Jesus really loved you, he'd never let you fall into those kinds of things. And for someone to say that, they would certainly prove that they've never actually read the Bible. Because followers of Jesus have had persecution and famine and nakedness or, or to be without and peril and, and, and even the sword to be caught in the middle of war. And the psalmist there, as he, as he says that, he's basically telling us that when we are associated with God, that there is a chance that we are going to be hated because of that, that we are going to go through some really difficult times as the people of God have gone through difficult times for the entire history of the world. But he says there in verse 37, he says, Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. In all of these things we are more than conquerors. These things are not the things that defeat the Christian. These are the things that bring glory to God. These are the things that bring goodness to men and to ourselves as God preserves us and loves us in the midst of these difficult times that Christians go through. He says, For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. There is absolutely nothing that we can encounter in this creation that can separate us from the love of Christ. Angels are on that list. That's what Satan is. He is a created being. He is an angel. He can't separate us from the love of Christ. The, the, the things that are on that list, death, death certainly doesn't separate us from the love of Christ. Life, how can life separate you from the one who is life? Well, I think what Paul means is, is this life that, that we could get so caught up in the allure of this life that that could separate us from the love of Christ. And he says, no, he says, for the believer, none of these things. And he says, I am persuaded. These things cannot separate you from the love of, Christ, of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. God loves us. And I would just want to, I just want you to start off this Monday morning with that thought in mind. God loves you. He loves you so much that he gave his son, Jesus, to die for you. And no matter what you encounter in this life, you know, these are the kinds of things that when people might encounter these things, they might be tempted to say, if God really loves me, why am I encountering these things? But like I said earlier, if you read your Bible, you realize that followers of Jesus are going to go through very difficult times. And when we do, he says, it's not that we're forsaken by God. We are loved by God in the midst of that, preserved by God, protected by God. And that makes us more than conquerors, no matter what we go through. What are you going through right now? Are you going through a good time right now? I, I pray that you are and that you're blessed. But even if you're going through a rough time, even if you're going through a hard time, even if you're being persecuted, or even some of the things on this particular list, tribulation and distress, persecution and famine, nakedness or peril or even sword to be in the midst of war. God is with us and he loves you and he will protect you and provide for you and never will he leave you and never will he forsake you. Now that's good news for this Monday morning. God bless you.